In this video, we're going to create our user interface for Automate Update Textile. So, right click on your project and click on Add Windows Form. And let's just call this as Update Text Style Form. So now we have this default form size. Let's just resize it properly. And we need to set some of the form properties. The first one is the start position. The default is Windows default location. We'll make this to be center screen and the topmost will be true so that it's always at the front and we will prohibit the user for maximizing our uh, form so make sure that the maximize box is set to false and also the the form border style should not be sizable otherwise the user can just keep on resizing the form so let's just make that as a fixed a single so now we are good with our form okay so next you should have this uh, toolbox window here if it so happened that this is not uh, showing up let's say it's a uh, close you can just go to the view and then click on toolbox here okay so let's drag one group container just uh, the form looks better if there is a border and let's just get rid of this text here we don't need that now let's start dragging some other controls for the label, the enter path, text box for the actual drawing path, and the button to browse the drawing and the folder. And then we will drag a list box to display all our drawings from the folder selected. We will just name all of uh, some of these controls accordingly. So for now, let's just keep on dragging the controls we need. This is for the old style label and text box here. So the user can enter the name of the style, the old style. Next for the new style and another text box now we need a label for the info and now we need two buttons to update the drawing I mean update the style and another button to cancel or to unload the form so let's start changing the names of these labels it is recommended that if you are dealing with the form from your code behind it's always good to uh, provide them a proper name that you can easily remember so in this case let's just uh, name this to txt path this will be a BTN browse and we'll set the text property to browse and for this one here we can also provide a default text in my case my initial drawing that I need to change is in the temp DWG's folder so we can put it there 
And for the list box, let's just name this as LSTDWGs. And for the label here, since I am not interacting with this control, I don't need to change the name. We'll just leave it as is whatever the Visual Studio provided. So in this case, we'll just have to change the text to enter path. And now for this label, these are all just guidance to the user. So enter old text style. And for this text box here, we will call this as txt text style old old and for this label we will change the text to enter new text style and for this text box we will call this as txt text style new and this is for our information so since we will be interacting with this label control it's better to change the name uh, accordingly so let us call that as lbl info just to provide some text here info dot 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 and this will be our update button let us call this as btn update and change the text to update drawing text style i would like to also change the formatting of the background and the text so change the font to bold bold equals true and the background color the back color change it to dark navy and uh, the four color change it to white maybe change the height a little bit okay and for this one here we will call this as btn cancel change the text to cancel and I would like to change the background color also to orange and change the font to bold let's just make this uh, same height as this one here so this will be our user interface you can play around with the user interface however you like depends on your color preference or the font style that you want but this should be good for our project you can also change the form if you want the text of the form here so it's up to you okay so this will be our user interface now in the next video we will be doing the coding for this form so i'll see you there